Oh, what you said. We're rolling. All right, let's try this again. Part two, or take two, rather. Hey everyone, this is Johnny. We're here with MDI. I'm here with Nick Mobach sitting in the behind the camera. We are using the J7, playing around with the autofocus system. See, hopefully, it works real well. Today, we're going to talk about Omi AI, which is another AI device just came out recently, or rather last year. Uh, they went out in a um, big announcement too, but I didn't hear anything about it until th uh, April this year. But uh, it came to along the same time doing the human AI, AI pin and the Rabbit R1. Unfortunately, those two, the Humane and the Arabic, are not as good as they promised. So I returned them, and when I found out about this business back past April, I said, let me try it out to see how good it is. And surprisingly, I got it in June, while a lot of people who ordered last year have not yet received. So I'm so sorry for that. I don't know what happened. Somehow they just decided that I'm special. Not really. Just somehow um, I got it. Anyway, this is the device. It is a portable necklace size and basically right now it's on because you can see the blue light and what it does is it could be constantly listening to you and your conversation and it will convert it into a transcript or summarize it for you and this way you have something to, to look for it. In the back of this packaging you can see there's a QR code I actually had the instruction how to open and install it. It's not that bad but I think they need to make it a little bit more uh, easy for dummy people like me. Because there's a time I had to, I had to rewrite it, reread it a couple of times to be understand. Inside the box here, you are here in the middle, the Omi AI. You go here, bottom here, the the, the little charger. It comes with additional uh, soft cover, silicone cover, and another necklace. So in case that you lose this pair, you can get the other. You got a second one. So what's good about this AI? So basically, speaking, for me, when we have meetings or have conversation with people or my friends, everybody else. It will, it will listen to all the conversation, it will record it down, and it will give me a transcript or a summarization of what we just said. So when I don't talk, it will pause. Uh, if, I, if I don't talk for two minutes, it will, it will just stop processing what was recorded. It's in, in a way, it's really good for me, especially for business people, because we have lots of meetings. We have lots of Zoom meetings, lots of uh, in-person meetings, and sometimes when I talk to Nick and he forgets, I can pull out and tell him, this is what we said, this is what you had to do. So you can turn around and say that was not true. Another bit benefit for me, since I go to the hospital a lot, and I learn, learn and realize a lot of time, doctors, they say something one way, to something to you, and then when they put it on the chart or the report, it's something different. And this happened to me many times already, and I got a little frustrated. I do wish back then, before I got this in June, that I had this device so I can show it to the doctor and say, this is what you said, this is what was recorded. But I didn't have that. But it's a good thing to have. So in case you want to challenge them or you go to court, hopefully that never happens, right? Now, talking about the, the, the companion, you can use your iPhone or your Android phone. You can also use it on the desktop or on Mac or Windows. You go to the app. You can see it's uh, the information here. So here in the, on the app, you have the home, chat, memories, action, explore. So what it also does is, when you start recording, you will analyze your conversation, summarize it for you, and they also give you some action item. So for example, earlier today we were doing um, action. So go to UPS to handle a task. So that was done yesterday. So you actually give me an action information there. Review and test the jetpack and necklace accessory. Well, it's that jetpack. It's this AI, uh, Omi AI. Uh, Nick, yesterday we talked about, I'm looking for a scriptwriter for a feature film. You know, actually give me the action list. The other section about the chat is pretty cool. Now, there's a cool video that showed up back then when I was looking on YouTube and saw this video. It will actually have this thing on your, on the, here next to your temple. And you can actually think about what you want to say you, and you can release. That part of the version is called the Brain Interface System. will not be available for this device. In fact, they're going to be prioritized that for the glasses that are going to come out uh, pretty soon. They actually have the de development version currently out for the glass and now they're going to have the consumer version coming out pretty soon. So the, that, for that part, the brain, uh, brain interface 
system will be available for that first before they come out for that. Which I wish to come out first because are kind of cool, cool to put put them a temple, walk around and, and things. People that I'm, I'm an Android or something, so you know something new, something different. No, a lot a lot of people freak out with that too. So anyway, but other other feature that was in the video talk about when there's a grandma at home watching watching TV, uh, her grandkids shows up and it immediately tells you who they are. Uh, it's not there yet. It will be eventually there. And the other part of the the video talks about you press and then release your hand, and they will do something for you, like sending an email or sending a message to someone. That's a, a feature coming. But for now, it's really not that bad. And other than summarizing and give you a transcript, you can also be able to press this down, and then you're gonna feel a vibration, and then you can say something about. Uh, send a nice letter to Nick thanking, thanking him for being so nice to working with me. And then release, you can feel the vibration again sometimes, and then you will actually transcribe it and create a letter based on the chat GPT system that's connected to, and you actually get to see it, which I'm going to show you a little bit later. So I said, dear person, I hope this makes you find you well. I want to wonder the uh, that's what I, I wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude gratitude for the wonderful experience of working with you. So it does just do that. So it, it does a little bit basically being like what you would do with chat GBT or perplexity, uh, AI or other AI or the um, co-pilot on Gemini, whatever you call them. But in a different is you can press and hold and talk to it and it actually comes out some result. So I'm looking forward to the rest of the stuff that come out. The other part of this is kind of cool is you will recognize eventually once you the more you use the system, the more you recognize the people that are talking in the meeting. So I had to create it. I, I used this and created my little personal personal profile. You go into the settings area and talk to the system for quite some time until you recognize your voice. So you will recognize that super speaker zero is Johnny or speaker zero is somebody else, uh, whoever the person owned it. And they will have also you can actually assign like speaker one to Nick, speaker two to Ray, uh, whatever, whatever person. And that helps in the sense of in the future, the more you listen and the more you recognize the voice, immediately, automatically, we actually can connect this person to that name. So you can immediately can recognize. So yes, the more you use it, the more functionality will help. It knows how many cats I have, what I'm going to name my cats, all the stuff information it knows because you get recorded and got memorized. So that's how AI, you got to have to use it completely. The more you use them, the more beneficial they will become for you. Maybe in the future, they will actually can draw you an image or send it to you via email that you can use it. Who knows? That's something um, you have to wait for. The cool thing about this one is also it is a uh, open source AI, which means that you can download the development, core, uh, development system software and develop everything you want. There's also a section here on the uh, on the it's uh, Omi companion app where you can actually check out different apps. There's so far about I see about hundred so far apps that you can download and test them out. I've not seen anything I like, but what I have so far like, like the ChatGPT, the summarization part of it, and uh, works are working really well for me. So I'm looking forward to other people who can develop better apps and can be used to with that. So. Though I don't think there'll be any time this is gonna get destroyed or not working like human AI would be, uh, but you know it's always source and you see we'll see what happens. And finally, battery life. This thing can last about 24 hours if you constantly have your meetings. But be aware though because it is connected to your phone via Bluetooth, uh, your phone battery will dry up really really fast. There is time that you actually. At noon, I already have 45% uh, of left the battery life on the phone. And, and then the other thing I also remember is it has to be connected to the internet. So sometimes you may have a meeting and there's no signal. It will record it, it, will record it locally on your phone, but then you will have to be go sent to the, uh, the, the cloud to be able to get the trans, uh, transcript and summarization back in the, send it back to you. That part of the uh, process is still in beta, so it's not yet um, working 100%. But overall, this thing is actually uh, working for me. I have no issues, and hopefully a lot more people will enjoy using this uh, OBI. We'll see you next time.